hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are seeing my face for the first time my name is ogome bunamezi halike a nigerian youtuber based in abuja i'm a mother of three wonderful kids i'm a chef i'm a fitness lover and i'm, I'm so many things so today <laughs> story of my second son because his birthday was on the 27th of february but um they were on a midterm break so i wanted them to resume school before i can um get a cake for them for him to take a picture with the friends because that was what he wanted so i just want to make a bad story okay sit back relax and enjoy Ta -la -la. so i will start right from the beginning when it started everything everything how it started so after my first child um that was um a year and um some months i took him for my second child okay during attinental they told us so many things like how they've been telling drink your water take your folic acid take your fruits and um, don't be scared of a CS or saying that CS is a is is God forbid. Like when you hear some women talk, you be you be thinking like, are they are, are these people breathing through through? Are, are they even breathing through their nose? Are they even thinking with their brain? How can you say God forbid to CS? So they taught us so many things during CS. My first child was normal delivery, but I just prepped up my mind saying um. I, I prayed to God. I told God that um, I commit this pregnancy into your heavenly hands. That how you want me to give birth to this baby. That is how this baby will come into this world. All I focused on, on getting into, I don't call that place the labor room. I call it favor room because once you enter there and come out alive with your baby, it's a favor. Okay. So I call that place favor room. I told God, please, I just want to go in there come out with my baby alive. I am alive and we're going home safely. So all through the attendant everything was okay until during almost to my due date. Okay. I've actually passed my due date, but the doctor said, um, let's still give it time to know if labor was going to come. So it was on this 27th February in the evening yes in the evening um i went for a walk with my first son i put him in his um roller so i usually go for walks in the evening with my first son so after that evening walk we came back home and during the morning i remember i was having all this um small small contraction but they were telling us that um um at during attendant that it might not be real labor it might be this um braxing kicks or so so i said ah is nothing i went about my business so in the night in the night it came it was just coming and going so i told my husband about it he said um okay let's call the doctor or let's go to the hospital but there was one particular stubborn mind that was telling me everything is okay nothing is happening just relax and stay back home but my husband keep persisting let's call the doctor let's go to the hospital i say okay Mbano, call the doctor so we called the doctor. The doctor said I should go to the hospital so they will check me and the rest of them. But that stubborn mind still came back. Ogomebunam, stay back home. Nothing is happening. Just leave it tomorrow. You go. Ha! You see? But there was a good mind by the side telling me, Ogomebunam, Jenu no, go to the hospital. Nothing is happening. But me, hi! If I remember that hand that they used to put inside people's a vagina to check how many centimeter or more that thing is very painful and if you dare raise your bum bum up for them to check you this woman put down your bum bum put down your bum bum or more and imagine when the doc the nurse that is coming to check you has a very big a very big hand Kai, i said okay let's go to the hospital when we got to the hospital the two bed, you know, they have um, a separate room where midwives can give birth um, through normal. Like, if you're not having any complication, there is a particular room there. So, when I entered that room, there were already two women already in labor. They were just lying down, or rather, about to enter labor. So, they told one of them, please, can you get up so they can check this woman, then you can lie down back. So, the woman got up and they told me to lie down. 
as I laid down, as that woman was coming, tears was already rolling down my eyes. Like, Anya Mile, who's this big girl of Uma of Uma? Hey! She put, she said, ah, you're two centimeters. I said, ah, two centimeters, how? But I'm not feeling anything. She said, Tom, you are in labor. You already contract, uh, not you are in labor, you're already contracting. I should just go outside and wait. Like, let's know how the, the, lab, um, the contraction will be progressing. So as I was outside, I called my sister. I told my sister, please, I'm in the hospital, that um, she should come. So she came around. We were waiting for some time, like um, some minutes. So they called me back to come in. I should come so they can check me again. Oh, putting that hand again. Mm? So as they put that hand, they said, ah, Madam, you're not progressing very well. Oh. They checked my BP, they checked the baby, and um, that was when they told me that my baby wasn't breathing well, that the, um, the heart was fluctuating, that the breathing was fluctuating. I said, ah, fluctuating, that ah, I'm not understanding this English first. Then, as they said that thing, as in, I just felt, I just felt, I just felt something. Okay, I said, which one is that the baby's heart, is, that the breathing is fluctuating, that um, what is wrong? I was already having in my head, like, what is going on? Is it going to result to a CS? Is it going to result to normal delivery? I was just thinking so many things in my head. But I told God one thing. I just want to have my baby alive. I just want to be alive. I just want to have my baby alive. That was what I was already having in my head and praying in my mind. So they put a call to my doctor immediately. They told my doctor CCC was happening and all that. So he said that they should book me for emergency CS immediately. God, I said CS. I said, oh, no problem. Whatever it is, I just want to be alive and I just want my baby to be alive. That was what I told myself. So, immediately my sister heard CS. Come and see drama. I told my sister, please, I don't need this energy right now. I don't need this vibe right now. All I need you to do is just to pray for me to enter that fever room and come out. Like, I don't need this drama. Oma, my sister put up a very big drama, a very big drama in the hospital. God forbid. My husband, that one, things I don't really know. Things don't really disturb him. He said, okay, if it's true, CS, yes, I'm okay with it. Where do I sign? What was the process and the rest of them? And me, I've already packed up. I didn't come with my things because I said I was just going to, I was just coming to the hospital so they would check me. So I didn't come with anything. My husband is already trying, where do I sign? What, where are her things? Because me, I didn't buy things. I already, I only bought delivery things. I've already packed them because they always tell us in Atlanta, pack your things, you don't know when labor will come. Pack your things, you don't. So I've already packed my things. Everything is just remaining to bring down the baby bath that is already on top of the wardrobe. That one is not really a problem. I've already packed the whole bag. So my husband signed. They started prepping me and the rest of them. So he went and brought the things and came back. So as they were prepping me, Omo, you know, the labor room, the favor room, and the main ward where they do operation is different, okay? Once you enter there, you will see all these lights, scissors, like everywhere was just different. The lights were just wah! So, ha, as I they told, they wore that clothes that they used to wear. I came in. As I came in, I saw those lights. I saw the scissors. I told them, wait. I told them, please, call my husband. Like, the fear, I, I told my mind, Okay, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this CS. But once I enter that place, I saw those lights. I saw scissors. I saw this one. They were using to call Omo Fear come home. I was very scared. I said, ah, ah, but this room is not the same like the other one. Ah, ah, what's happening? What are these scissors doing here and the rest of them? I told them, please call my husband now. I'm scared. That one was there. I said, see, see, see this man. I'm calling you. Come now, let's go. He said, babe, Oma Rifeneme, enter. Oma Rifeneme, man, never actually. Oma, enter, though. As I was there, 
the doctor came they gave me the epidural at the back then there was another doctor that was by my head side because they don't really give this um, injection that will make you to go into a very deep sleep they will still be tapping you from time to time and be discussing with you so the doctor by by my bedside was um, they gave me the epidural I laid down so as I laid down the drugs was already coming from time it was already coming so the doctor told me okay lead us in prayer I prayed we were both discussing and then I couldn't feel my legs again so they covered my because they will cover it from your um, tummy down you don't get to see what's happening behind the curtain so they were they were discussing with me asking me where are you from and all that so that you don't go into a very 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 deep sleep so but before I entered the, the um, ward okay they told me to take Fanta as I took that Fanta, as I as they were operating on me, I started vomiting. Okay, as they were pressing my tummy, because normally, if it was normal delivery, you were going to push. But since it's just CS, the doctor was just pressing the tummy a little bit so that the baby can come down. So, as he was pressing the tummy, as in I was, and you know, they used to have AC in that um, place that they used to operate. The AC was already coming to me. I started vomiting. They were, the doctor, oh my God, that assistant doctor was very nice. So he started cleaning me up, telling me, are you okay? I said, yes, I'm fine. I was just talking as in my eyes were closing. So as they were pressing it, oh, immediately the baby came out. <gasps> I just felt as if something leave my body. So the doctor showed me my baby. See your baby, your mom. My baby was Oto, Oto Mano Baza. He was fair. I was just looking at him like I was saying in my mind, is this my baby? What is it, Kanyale? That was what I was saying in my mind. So they showed me my baby. They started them sewing me up and the rest of them. And they took me back to my room. So I got myself after some minutes, af after some hours, because I slept all through. So... I always hear some women say, God forbid to see us, God forbid to see us. And I always tell them, you don't say God forbid to see us. But they said, eh, what if my husband doesn't have money to do the CS? What happens? I said, you have to pray to God to even lead you into that favor room and come out. What if you don't have the money and they still borrow the money and come and do the CS? You will still die. That is where you must have made, your, made up your mind to, as in, I don't know. But all I pray to women that are pregnant is... Just tell God, please, whichever way that my baby comes out true, whether it's normal delivery or whether it's true CS, please let me go into that favor room and come out peacefully and come out successfully with my baby. Don't say, God forbid, to CS. Don't say, please, I want to give birth as a Hebrew woman. Who Hebrew women ep? Who Hebrew women have? Some even went through that Hebrew women and they still died on top. All you have to pray to God to please lead me, guide me and protect the doctor that is going to operate on me so that there won't be any complication or maybe they will forget one thing or one thing during the operation. That is what you pray to God for everything to be successful. When you have your baby in your arms and you are alive seeing that baby, the joy that comes through it is fulfilling. And now I pray to all TCC mothers, TCC trying to conceive to pray, or rather, I pray to God to please grant them this bundle of joy for them to carry their own child and experience this birth. And also, I will say happy birthday to Chibundo. His name is Chibundo Franklin Ezehalike. I will say happy birthday to you. I shall not mourn over you untimely. You shall become a blessing to us. You will make us proud. You will keep growing. You will keep shining. And we love you so much. And um, on this birth, I say God bless you. God bless your new age and more years ahead of you. I hope you enjoyed this, my birth story. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, comment, and share my video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.